Hey everybody, this is uh, Schmitty's Kettle Corn here. Uh, welcome to the uh, Schmitty's Kettle Corn show. And if you guys have any questions or anything that you want to ask me, feel free to give me an email. Um, my email I'll put uh, on the on the page here. Um, and feel free to send me any questions that you may have. I'll be spending some time uh, within the next uh, month or so, you know, maybe once a week on a Monday to answer some of your questions. I have been getting a lot of consulting advice from people from all over the world. Um, and I really want to, you know, get into that maybe and, and start helping people. So with that, I've had a pretty busy year so far. Um, my um, ideas that I've had for this year is to get into more retail. I got into one place already. I'll send some pictures of that. I had to move. I also got into a car accident. So I had to get a new vehicle as soon as I was done almost paying it off. And um, I set up a GoFundMe page. So if you guys want to donate, my, uh, donat my donation page will be below. And it was a pretty bad accident. Um, so I'm lucky to be alive at this point. And so with that, um, I've been doing a lot of research on retail this year. Because the one problem I've been running into with the market side of the equation is, especially with the extreme heat, going into this, after 95 degrees, I do not go out and pop anymore. I've debated about going out and popping ahead of time and then selling my bags ahead of time. But for right now, um, I'm doing okay. I still do about five markets a week or so. And I have all my markets pretty much except for one going until November. I have one that's year round. And I'm trying to do a situation where I have my employees go out and sell uh, with me as well at another market. And so with that, has been a lot of challenges, of course, you know, having somebody else use their own vehicle. And then on top of that, um, how much do you pay? Uh, I was doing a 60-40 split with one person, and then, you know, their car broke down. So with that, um, I am trying to do that again this year, maybe next year, save some spaces, four or five markets, and then have them go out and sell product already made. And then I also started doing with retail, doing research on which bags to order, I found that um, I was going to use these candy bags that I did last year, but I noticed that with the twisty top, the air will actually get through and it'll make it stale on the very top and then the bottom will still be fresh. So what I did is actually I got these bags from New Line and I'll give show you guys what they look like. Um, these are these bags right here. And I really like these bags and I want to give a shout out to James Gross. Um, he referred these to me and, and he gave me a lot of great advice and um, I really appreciate the, the Killicore community that the kettle core community gives you a lot of a good advice and so with that i've learned a lot from other veteran kettle corn people um especially when it comes time to like when to leave an event when to not make money when to when to make money and also at this point with me doing this business for six years now i am um trying to figure out how to diversify my income to where i make the most money possible um all year round versus just 10 months so with that you know, maybe the retail um, side of it will be the best way to go for when it gets too cold. Um, then I have to figure out how to pop in uh, 25 degree or below weather. Um, that, that is a fine come December time. But I'm able to get work until just about the end of December, end of Christmas. And then that's when I go home and see my family. So I recently moved and moved into a new place. Uh, as you can see behind me, my old place, my landlord raised and rent $1,000 more a month or plus. So I had to move, and now I'm busy trying to help some a friend of mine who's uh, you know homeless and trying to figure out how to help him get housing. And so with that, I've been pretty much busy almost every day. One of the things that I've had to come over with with me being a disabled business owner, one, me being someone who has anxiety, is um, pretty much going to sell myself and then you know being personable. So with that, um, I decided to dedicate one day on Thursday um, and uh, basically get some packaging together. Go to these places and sell my bags with the label. I even have a label with the ingredients on it here. Um, let me show you what that looks like. And this is what the uh, label looks like. Um, if you can see here, um, I have it uh, through Print Place. This is actually a really nice label. Um, and I have my information. I have the ingredients on there below. And um, it's, a great, it's a great label, actually. If you see the back here, you can actually flip it around and you can see where the, the, it is to peel off. Now, with these bags, um, I have um, different flavors in them and they they pack up a pretty uh big big amount here so w with that um i debated about if i should you know invest the extra money and have the bags printed up already now some companies will charge a minimum of let's say five to ten thousand bags i'm not going to sit there and store ten thousand bags in my place i have a small little studio apartment i pay you know 750 a month for it i'm not going to have everything stored here in my business Luckily, I got a storage unit this year as well. That has been saving me a lot of space as well. 
Um, but with this bag here, um, I like the fact that it's, it's really clear and you can actually see the popcorn and it looks really appetizing. Um, it makes you want to buy one. And also, um, they're about 20, with Uline and with the shipping, they're about 20 cents a bag. And with the label, um, I use Print Place and with the label, it's about a six cents a bag. And the more you buy, you know, if you buy a whole a whole box of them, like 2,000 labels, the cheaper that the labels are. If you buy 2,000, 4,000, and the place that I get my labels, I'll put in the link below, is printplace.com. I really like them. They're um, made in Texas. They're made in the United States. I'm supporting a, another business owner who, who makes and hires people from the United States, and that's really important to me as a business owner, is supplying local as best as I possibly can. And, yeah, so this is Schmitty's Kettle Corn. Again, if you guys have any further questions, um, I'm, do I'm just happy that I'm doing five markets a week this year. I want to do more. I want to get to a point to where I do like maybe 10, 15. Um, I'm currently popping only by myself, so I don't you know, want to be in a situation where I, p I pay somebody else to pop. Um, and uh, how does that work for you guys? You know, If you're a veteran kettle corn guy and want to be on my show, please send me a shout out. I'd love to have uh, you, know, you come on. And, and, and basically, how do you guys, pre guys prevent theft? Uh, do you guys do an inventory sheet? Things like that. Do you pay for gas? What do you guys pay t now in 2020 uh, for? And um, uh, this year I'm paying $20 an hour cash. So with that being said, uh, you know, there's all these things that are coming up that, um, and with that, you know, at least my prices have gone down. The, uh, the last thing is with my, I have a new menu that I can show you guys. I decided to, to drop after all this, these time, the six years that I've been in business. I actually started 13 years ago. I decided to drop my small bags and only do one size, my, my medium bags, and then also maybe my larger, so two sizes. With that, that has actually cut down the time of how much it takes for me to do the small bags. I also make more money, and uh, it, it's, it's uh, a product that is people see me being made fresh. I do the $8 price point. I know some people, they charge you know $9 or $10, and you know what do you guys charge in your area for your bags? I'd love to find out. Anyways, this is Shemitee's Kettle Corn. Um, have a good year this year, guys. Um, thanks again for following. And I'll try to come up with some more videos. I'm going to come up with some better creative videos as well. On my off time, I learn how to do graphic design and how to learn how to edit and learn how to do all sorts of different things to help grow my business. And I really appreciate you guys for following. And thanks a lot for um, subscribing and, and, and following my page on Facebook. Thanks a lot, you guys. This is Shemitee's Kettle Corn. Take care, guys. Get, get popping.